Hi everyone, back again with me Princess Tacha with a new video on my channel Princess Tacha Jupiter. For this video, we're going to find out what are people saying about you behind your back lately. Alright guys, now in front of you, there are three cards. Using your intuition, please pick the first card that comes into your mind. Now please remember, you're welcome to pick other group for additional messages. I'll see you on your reading. Hello, group number one. Welcome back to my channel with me, Princess Taicha Jupiter. Um, so today we're going to find out what are people saying about you behind your back lately. It's just for fun. And please consider that this is just general reading. So please take what resonates. And if you want to grab coffee, tea, drink, snack, go ahead. And um, I hope this message is um, resonates with you and useful for you. All right. Group number one, what are people saying about you behind your back lately? You pick the card of the hermit. This is another version of the hermit card. Um, the same meaning, but just with different deck. Um, but with the hermit here, People are saying behind your back lately that um, contrary to popular belief or so much different than what people thought you could feel, you actually really enjoy your alone time with the hermit here. I think some of you truly have a hibernation mood. You are in the hiber hibernation mood. Some of you due to the weather, changing of the weather. It's getting colder out there for some of you. Or rainy season, winter season, or just getting colder. Um, the sky is a little bit gloomy. You just love being indoors sometimes. You just love um, enjoying a cup of tea. Uh, hot chocolate, coffee, your latte indoor, or just truly really just embracing um, your relaxation time, um, you know, being in comfort and just, you know, being indoor basically and being more laid back than before. All right. So that's what people saying about you behind your back. I also feel with the hermit here that People saying that you actually um, are someone that are awakening. You are awakening. You understand and you are so aware of your spirituality, your connection with the spiritual world. You understand and kind of realize right now that you are psychic or more intuitive than you thought you were a long time ago. Um, you're someone that wants to follow your intuition, wants to follow more of your spiritual practices or religious uh, practices, religion practices. I also feel that with this, you find your true purpose. Some of you, you still try to find it, but some of you, you kind of going into some sort of experiences or realization that you know for sure what you are meant to do in this lifetime because you get like uh, synchronicities when you do the things that you're supposed to do in this lifetime. Um, you know, you got that encouragement from the universe, from the people around you, from angels, from the divine, you know, through your circumstances and I feel that people are saying behind your back lately that you about to um you about to seal your destiny you about to experience the fullness of your destiny you about to fulfill one of your destiny in this world all right that could relate it to job career profession desire happiness hobbies side hustle or even your personality now you're trying to just be yourself feeling comfortable with how you feel about certain things not trying to be perfect 100 times all the time um you're you're willing to be 
vulnerable in front of people as well um, and you're trying to just feeling content with just by yourself you tend to limit your connection with people that never give you positive vibes or positive influence or even positive uh, contribution in your life you tend to have boundaries around you but doing it in a more calm way than ever before um you feels like you have more power to just stand up on your own and feeling very independent feeling very proud of yourself feeling very calm so i feel that there's this content contentment calm happiness um, that comes from within the hermit. The hermit is very powerful personality. Um, when it appears with the question, "What are people saying about your behind, about you behind your back?" People kind of feel that you already do the shadow work, that you did that all the works that needs to be done in order for you to find yourself, having that self discovery moment. So that's what people also saying about you behind your back. Maybe they pay attention to how you change about your appearances, how you love yourself even more how you actually try to invest in yourself even more you know and i feel that some of you are really great to be a mentor a teacher or you have connected with a mentor or a teacher or a guru that will help you in your career or will help you in your career in the near future so with the hermit here i think the universe um, tend to isolate you not to make you feel lonely but to prepare you for something big that will be in alignment with your soul purpose all right so that's what i'm um, feeling about this group wow it's very um it's very interesting it's very strong is very good some of you probably born um on the ninth day of the month or in september as well that's possible okay truth i feel that in the past you denied yourself you denied your needs you tried to fulfill other people's needs you be you become the crowd pleaser in the past but now you are standing with your truth now the funny things is she's like so confident standing alone by herself like the hermit so i feel when the hermit coming in conjunction with the truth you are proud of yourself you know you let the world see the truth about you you know the real deal about you the real side of you the real talent the real skills when in the past you tried to dim your light you tried to hide behind the facade behind other people that feel more powerful than you that you felt that you're just behind the scene but now you're standing on your truth it can be seen from the office perspective or from your business you want to speak up more you want to speak up in a meeting you want to put yourself out there in the dating environment um you're willing to pursue pursue your desire and you are willing to admit that you love being alone not necessarily means that you're lonely and it doesn't have to be that you are single some of you can be single but some of you you're already in a committed relationship you're already in a beautiful relationship but you just love the truth that you love yourself you love your alone time you need your alone time to actually get uh, some sort of um, ideas being um you know nourishing yourself and refreshed the soul that you have and you know basically um just having that alone time to also do positive things for your own soul right you have be spontaneous people kind of feel that you are fun despite your decision to be alone or just want to have a uh, rest time relax time you're very spontaneous okay so you can just decide one day hey i want to book that solo trip and you book it hey i want to save money for my um you know for my accessories for for booking a um, spa resort um a nail salon a hair salon all right um to pamper yourself and you know you're very fresh so people are saying lately that you're very spontaneous they love how you're being very witty so you responded to other people lately um, in a very spontaneous way very fun to be around in a very spontaneous way and that's good that refreshed the soul people feels that you're very fun and very exciting um your energy is very sexy that's how i feel i'm very confident yet very spontaneous so people feel energized to being around you and they got that fun feeling by just being around you right they got that um 
so much by just hanging out with you, getting to know you better, or just, you know, um, basically knowing how you respond to everyday life, how you respond to challenges, obstacles, or surprises that comes in your way. So, yeah, you're pretty fun people. Water. Some of you have a very strong water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, you know, very strong water sign, very dreamy. That, so that's what people are saying um, about you behind your back lately. Um, you're also someone that sensitive, that is sensitive. You gotta know how people feel without you have to hear directly from them. So you have that intuition that is very strong related to how people feel. Um, I feel that people are saying behind your back lately that you are an empath. Honestly, they kind of realize that you are an empath. You know, just because you want to be alone or just because you need your your alone time doesn't mean you don't need a faction doesn't mean you don't need a connection with people with a group with a collective you know with your friends family sibling loved one spouse um and i feel that people kind of see that you're being um, melodramatic sometimes or got that feeling of nostalgia maybe you miss your family you miss your childhood times you miss your um, schoolmate um, you want to have like reunion with your schoolmate or you know people that grew up with you you miss your parents you miss your um, basically your mother um, earth you miss your uh, mother country that's also possible for some of you um, but I feel that you got that feeling of nostalgia with this card all of here so some of you truly have that spontaneous idea to just visit your hometown you know go abroad or um, travel with your family travel with your mom treat your mom ice cream I don't know or you know hang out with your friends I feel that Libra some of you, people are saying behind your back lately that you look really good. Yes, you look really good. You probably just purchased some new things, either clothes, accessories, shoes, I don't know, and that looks good on you. Libra also about fairness. So they see that um, you are someone that always treat other people how you want to be treated. You are very... Um, full of integrity um you are someone that always bring harmony into connection into relationship and i feel that people kind of feel it okay so that's what people are saying behind your back lately sagittarius oh you're very adventurous i feel that some of you born in december mm -hmm or in the end of November, so you have a very strong Sagittarius placement in your birth chart. Um, you don't have to have sun in Sagittarius. It could be sun, moon, rising, or other planet in Sagittarius. But I feel that people say behind your back lately that even though that you are alone, you keep producing something that they are envy about, or just a little bit feeling intimidated, or just something that they wish they could have, not li not like negative envy or that, no. But they, they just admire your creation, or they admire your work, or whatever it is that you are working on you know or your look your appearances your social media post your instagram tiktok or let let's i have to say your appearances basically in your office in neighborhood you know maybe your body is really good you smell so good your style is really good and with sagittarius you're very optimist about your desire your dreams goals and that's really inspired people you are one man show so when the hermit when the hermit sorry when the hermit coming in conjunction with sagittarius sagittarius is about exploration so you love experiencing something new it's about freedom so you are uh, someone that that is very creative you are willing to create something alone you are capable of doing something alone and you are someone that is optimist so it's this whole package is about you is one man show you are willing to give the great show and you are capable of giving the great show for people to watch a people a crowd pleaser exactly in a good way um you attract attention wherever you go even though you have that hermit mood time but i feel that yes you're very fiery passionate and people cannot talk about that behind you lately conjunction again yes people feel that you merge yourself with your destiny so soon enough you're gonna experience something that will shape uh, the future of yourself that will shape the lesson that you will learn in the future that will shape the experience that you are about to have in the future that will relate it to who you are as a person your soul journey your soul purpose and it's merging together with yourself so you have that self-realization self 
of discovery. So when the Hermit coming in conjunction with this conjunction card, I feel that there's this union between your soul, your spirit and body. So your body, soul and spirit all merge together, making you even more powerful than ever before. So be careful what you think about yourself. Make sure you think positive about yourself because you create your realities. The power of your mind is very powerful, especially with Sagittarius telling you with the optimism. Um, wants to remind you with this card um, that you need to be optimist about your outlook, optimist about the things that you want to have in the future and how you think about yourself because that's very powerful. The things that you think about yourself will happen to yourself not about other people, more so about yourself, all right? So I always encourage people that listen to my channel or watch my channel to always practice that positivity, practice that saying positive to yourself because that's good when you create that as a habit, when you get used to it, all right? So when outside circumstances, external factor, try to ruin your state of mind, try to ruin your peace of mind, you know where to go. You go to your soul and tell to yourself that you deserve to be happy, that you are good, you know, that you are here to fulfill your destiny, that you have that self-discovery, knowing that you are powerful, that you are good, you're beautiful, you're smart, you're handsome. All right, let's get one more card here for you, your wild card of the day. Um, this is very interesting as I uh, incorporate this more into my reading. Um, but yeah, let's see here. For my viewers that pick group number one, what are people saying about you behind your back lately? You have karma, yes. Some of you, you truly ended the toxic story. Might be related to friends, close friends, acquaintances, past love, um, you know, um, ex schoolmates, something like that. And or old habit, old habit that was not just not useful for you. And you open the door to new destiny, open the door to new opportunities, and the door is opening for you. This karma picture is the door open. This is positive picture, but all the cards, it's up to you. It's up to the reader as well, how you try to read that, how you try to bring the energy, you know, I tend to just um, utilize more of the positive energy. And that's just how I do my thing all right um and i feel that with the card is being opened the door imagine this is the door to your dreams the door to new opportunities to new job new connection positive friendship new side hustle new romantic connection if you're still single all right this is the door to all of your dreams that will come true if you believe it, if you have faith in it, and you are just about to embark on the journey of your lifetime, on the journey to fulfill part of your destiny, on the journey to fulfill um, the reason why you have to be born in the world. And that's all for good. All right, because you are good, you are good, you are handsome, you are beautiful, and you deserve to experience the beautiful new opportunities that are about to happen in the near future for your life. All right, group number one, that's your reading for today. Please give me a thumbs up. Please like this video. If you love this content, please subscribe to the channel and be part of the family. If you want to give me a tip or to book me for your private reading, please click the link in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Thank you and bye-bye. Hello group number two, welcome back to my channel with me Princess Tacha Jupiter. For this video, we are going to find out what are people saying about you behind your back lately. Please know that this is just general reading, so please take what resonates. And if you want to grab coffee, tea, snacks, and drink, go ahead. I'm so glad I can accompany you guys with my video. Group number two, you're picking the Fool. The Fool card has the number zero, right, of the tarot deck. This is just another version of the Fool card, but with a different tarot deck. The similar, you know, the synonym of the fool is the dreamer of or how this deck tried to depict the card of the fool. People are saying behind your back lately that you have a very youthful energy. 
All right, it can change all the time. Sometimes you look like you're just wiser than you actually are, but lately people feel your excitement. Maybe because it's near holiday time. Um, you know, you love shopping for holiday. You love decorating your place. You love decorating for Christmas or holiday. Um, you love planning family vacation for the holidays. All right, you have like some sort of style. Um, you plan to host parties and inviting people over or you attending some sort of invitation or you just have um, a big plan for your future all right you write that on your journal some of you you love writing on the journal you love documenting your life through videos or stories you love um you love dream big. It's just you since you were a kid. And also this picture is about, um, you know, like someone that truly are just having this youthful energy. And this is you. People are saying behind your back lately that you're someone that always believe in the beauty of your dreams because you got the dreamer or the fool with the believing. This is a very strong card, all right? This is a very strong card. Some of you, you are here to experience the joy, you know, the life to the fullest, but also learn a lot through your own challenges and obstacles that is uniquely designed just for you to be more major, to, to be more responsible to yourself, to actually realize your own potential. Because with the dreamer card here, you're someone with big potential for the future, regardless of your age. It's never too late to do the things that you always want to do, to do the things that makes you happy, to do the things that makes you smile. It's never too late. It can be different things for each one of us because we have our own different hobbies, desire, interest, Interest, dreams. Some of you, you love decorating your place. So you just love waiting on the discount or a good deals and go to like Hobby Lobby, Michael's, Home Depot, Home Goods. I'm not advertising them, but I'm just saying that you love having a good deals, get a good deals and, you know, decorate your place, your room, your house, you know, to enjoy this holiday moment, you know, this Christmas time uh, for some of you. I also feel that some of you truly have a great dream to fulfill. Um, people are saying that you're one of the rare people that living your dreams to the fullest. Let me tell you one more time. You are one of the rare people that are going to live your dreams to the fullest. Meaning that you almost always get your dreams come true because you are the believer. You have a great faith in God, in the divine, in angels, in the universe, in the plan of your life. You believe very strong and have that faith, have a strong faith. Some of you is very spiritual. Some of you is very religious, even though we all have different, different religion or spiritual practices. But I kind of feel with group number two here that you will be the pioneer here you are the pioneer for everything and people are saying behind your back lately that you're the you're the source of inspiration you are the trail trailblazer you created the path in the past for the people that came after you but then now you create new path so people like what happened next they're so curious about you. That's what they're saying behind your back lately. You know, they love that you're just all about your dreams. You're all about fulfilling your dreams. You're very ambitious. You are in the beginning of your manifestation for some of you. Or some of you, you're almost towards the end. But you kind of feel that excitement, that youthful energy. And just never tired of dream another dreams right right and your dreams doesn't have to always be big dreams some dreams you just want to have let's say you know a free cup of coffee or you want to win a lottery or let's say you want to save money for your own trip for buying uh, nice gifts for yourself or to buy christmas gifts for your parents something like that you know and you're someone that it's blessed with a lot of things that happen in your life. You're being protected by your angels, by the divine. All right. Being protected by angels. They allow you to experience all the good things that life has to offer. As long as you're willing to claim it that is yours. All right. Take back your power from the people that just used you, took you for granted. No more like that. All right. So people are saying behind your back lately that you just want to have fun. You have that fun personality. Okay. Even though behind the 
behind the scene, behind the closed doors, you are the most hardworking person. You are the wisest person, but you just have a very strong youthful energy. So people thought that you are innocent. People thought that you lack of experiences until they see how you did it, until they see your experiences. So they believe it because they know that you have a great potential here. They, that's what they're saying. Hey, regardless of your age, you have a great potential to fulfill your destiny. And part of your destiny is to have fun. It's to love your life. It's to enjoy your life to the fullest. And that's going to be different for each one of us. So ask your soul. Please ask your soul. And, you know, having that meditation, prayer, and, uh, you know, have that communication with the angels, with your soul, and ask your soul, what do you want to experience? What kind of joy that you want to have in this lifetime? What makes your heart sing? You know, what calling to your soul? And follow that soul calling, whatever it is, that truly um, ignite your soul and make you feel passionate about something and make you feel happy and smile. All right, group number two, all right? Let's see it here. Oops, sorry. You have asked for help. Some of you people are saying that you got that intuition from the divine, from angels. Ask for their help. Ask for their guidance. They will help you, you know. And people are saying behind your back, because you're willing to ask your angels, God, the divine, you got that miracles happen in your life. So people are just wondering how you did it, basically, right? Group number two, how you did it. People are just so surprised. Like miracles is all on the way to you. Helps are just very random coming to you. Um, and it can be in different forms, you know. Um, abundant can be in different forms. And you're willing to open your way about that friendship. People are saying behind your back lately that they kind of see um, your value as a friend. They start to see that you are a loyal friend. They start to realize that's what's important they start to realize that you are a loyal friend for some of you these people were your childhood friends and they kind of realize that you are the one that never go away even though you're being separated by distance but your heart is always there your spirit is always there you're very loyal to your friend or to your loved ones to your family you're creating friendship wherever you go online or in physical life with your community um, with your parents with your sibling with your loved one even with your spouse you want to create a beautiful meaningful friend so there's this fun, happy-go-lucky, witty, and very funny personality that people are saying about you lately. Pretty much a light energy, okay? Like youthful vibe that I got from this group, all right? This is very interesting. Um, You have yin. I feel that with the yin card here, um, some of you probably um, are Cancer, Capricorn, Taurus, Scorpio, or other yin uh, signs in the birth chart. I feel that um, you're very intuitive. That's what people are saying behind your back lately. You really know how to read the room. You really know how to finish the things that people not don't say. You know how to perceive other people's emotion and answer accordingly. You know how to be there for other people and be the one that they want you to be. You are very patient. You're very spiritual. You're very receptive to the power of the universe. That's why I ask for help. You're very receptive. You trust the journey of your life. You have that faith or trust. This is someone that's going to do something big, but in a very out-of-the-box way, in a very dreamy way, in a very fun way, in a very light of way, in a very unexpected way. You are the unexpected one. You're the one that's going to fulfill the dreams of your life, and people might not expect it. Not like they don't believe that you're going to do it, but because they probably just... Um, having a projection on you, they limit yourself with the limitation that they put on themselves. You know, they cannot do it because that dream is not for them. It's for you. 
You're here to fulfill your dreams. And if you believe it, if you do effort about it, if you manifest it, if you pray, meditate, and give your 100% effort, I feel that you will see that something just works out well for you in the end. You know, you are here for a reason at the right time. And there's always a reason why a delay is happening um, to protect you from something that's going to harm you because you are protected here or to prevent you from um, the things that will harm yourself or to prepare you for something better, something bigger, something that actually going to be the dreams of your life. And when you understand that, when you know that in the future, then you're going to say to yourself, oh, it's just all meant to be. Yes. And you're going to love it. You're going to love it. <clears throat> Uranus, yes, you are very um, different than most people. You're very different here. People are saying behind your back that they see your life is changing. There's something about you being very Uranus. Uranus is about radical, radically change. Some of you, you used to be um, someone that shy. Or still a little bit shy now. But now you have that more confidence. You have more confidence in at least in the direction of your life. All right. You slowly understand that some lessons need to appear first before you unlock. All right. Some lessons need to be learned first before you unlock the new skill, the new experiences, you know, the new opportunities that will seal the destiny of your life. And now you're so different. Your attitude is so much different. You are radically changed the status quo. You radically change your own perspective and limiting beliefs. Um, you're not believing in the lies anymore that you're not good enough. You know that you're good enough, that you're good and you're enough. Um, you know, and you're being more active now, being more in your masculine energy. Um, sorry, in your feminine energy, right? Uh, being more in being more in your feminine energy, being more receptive, but at the same time, you know how to pursue your desire and dream, but also ask for help. Ask your spirit guides, ask God, angels, the divine. All right. You have Aquarius. Some of you have Aquarius in your birth chart. I feel that also people say behind your back lately that you are very friendly. Again, this is the card of friendship. You're very authentic, very original. It's just the thing that you say. It, it's so different than other people. Not the words that you used, but how you make people feel. That's your authenticity. You know, you can talk about same thing like other people, but the effect that people feel the effect of your words, of your action, you know, of your sentence, of your speech, or the things that you do for people is just different. They feel something out of this world about you. You're very original. You're very authentic. You don't care about how many friends that you have. Again, friendship. You don't care. You care more about how you treat other people. So then people want to be your friends, naturally, without you hoping them want to be your friends. You don't need to get that title of bestie, best friend, all right? But then they did disappear when you need them the most. You are helpful for a lot of different people from a lot of different backgrounds. So I feel that for this group... You can be friends with people that is older than you, younger than you, different status, um, you know, different countries, different backgrounds, different professions. And I feel that you're very open-minded with Aquarius as well. You're someone that have that philanthropy feelings. You're someone that is very authentic. So you want to keep your connection also authentic and genuine. And someone that truly have a great imagination, honestly. Mercury. Yes, your mind is very active. So people are saying lately behind your back that the power of your mind and your speech is very active. Some of you is really good with words, either writing or speaking, or how you truly deliver your message, let's say in the office, um, or how you um, teach your kids, raise your kids, right? That's using think, learn, 
That's about think and learn. You help. You become the mentor, the guru, the teacher of your kids. And I feel that with the network and communication, people are saying behind your back lately that, you know, they love talking to you. They love listening to you. They learn a lot about you lately. That's what I'm saying about you. People are paying attention to you. They are paying attention to you. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. They're actually using you in a good way. I mean, looking at you as a great network to have. Honestly, honestly, you're a great network for people because you're very genuine regardless of your status and regardless of their status. You don't pick a friend based on their status. You don't judge the book by its cover. You just want to be with everyone or basically being polite with everyone. That's very inspiring. Your wild card is dating. I feel that regardless of your status group number two, people are saying behind your back lately that they think a lot about you. They think the good things that they shared with you. They kind of miss, um, you know, fun times with you. They want to have a dinner with you, either friendship, platonic, business, or even romantic. Um, They want to win you over. They actually see that you win your life or soon to celebrate something that will make you have a toast or cheer, celebrate about something, something big about your milestone, about your dreams, something related. Okay, one of the things that I see here, right, um, the energy of you from the universe of the cards here um, is one of your dream will become true. And that dream, actually the dream that you have since you were a kid, but you are keep believing on this dream. Some dreams that you have might, might be just simple. Some of you dream big dreams. But you're going to celebrate something soon or winning. You're going to celebrate it through dining. Toast. Celebrate about something. Or this is about you having a new connection related to your romantic connection. But I feel that one of your dreams is truly going to happen here in the near future. Or sometimes next year or in a couple of years but i just feel that this dream doesn't have to be big even though some of you truly gonna fulfill that destiny the big dreams that you keep believing on it all right just because it's a beginning not all of you is in the beginning process because i feel that something radically changed for you in the past it's so hard for you to fulfill that now it's gonna be easy or it's truly happening yes yes it's truly happening so good for you group number two i'm so excited for you and um yeah all right group number two that show reading for today please give me a thumbs up please like this video if you love this content please subscribe to the channel and be part of the family if you want to give me a tip or book me for your private reading please click the link in the description box below thanks for watching and i'll see you on my next video thank you and bye bye hello group number three welcome back to my channel with me princess Tatcha jupiter so today we're going to find out what are people saying about you behind your back lately all right this is just for fun reading and i hope the message will be useful for you and please consider that this is just a general reading so please take what resonates and also if you want to grab coffee tea snacks drink go ahead i'm so glad i can accompany you guys with my video You're picking the chariot. This is just another version of the chariot. Um, some of you born in July or on the seventh day of the month or 777 could be your angel numbers. People are saying lately that they see that you're making progress. Probably these people um, truly see how you take action, how you lead the groups, how you donate your ideas, how you volunteer in some sort of um, activities or, you know, um, how you are being very active. So people are saying lately that you're very active all right i also feel that um, you're being recognized of something here something that related to your uh, personal development that's how i feel i also feel with this group um you're someone with a strong will so people are saying about you behind your back lately that um some something behind the scene is about to change in your life and that's because of your own effort you know, that's because of your own curiosity and how you pursue your desire. 
People are saying lately behind your back that you are on a mission where everything is in motion. You know, everything is in motion and you are all about your move. The great thing is that you have full control of where you want to go and when you will arrive. So you decide it. You are the driver, the chariot, all right? A beautiful thing that we see on this picture is a lady with an angel wings right um with a horse that flies is pegasus and i feel that you know in the reading um this is about you being perceived by people or people say behind your back lately that you are in a position where you have full control of what's around you and of what you want to do that's what they basically say. And I also feel that the control is in your hands. You are in full control. You are in full power. So your reality is because of your own hand, because of your own imagination, because of your own effort. Especially you're picking this group. All right. You are on the right group. Um, you're all about your movement and outcomes. And apart from having power, situations are happening at a fast pace and you can see them. You know, you be able to see it and or at least you feel it that, that it's getting fast, that your manifestation is getting faster than you thought or it will be faster than you thought. And also you are given the gift of prevention so that a problem does not become bigger if you sense a problem and also when it already is then you know how to handle it most importantly if something is about to be blown out of proportion you have the ability to control it and sustain it that's what people are saying behind your back and also beware group number three that um you know how you control your situation and who you control you know not everyone wants to be controlled having control should be applied only when necessary and you can control yourself you can only control yourself and you have to control yourself you know um in a good way control in a moderation control about your reaction not everything deserves your reaction you know not negative things deserve your reaction you know just delete delete all the negative vibes negative negative energies you know um you know, you deserve positive things. I deserve positive things in my life. And I'm positive. I'm beautiful. I'm smart. You know, I'm good. You know, um, and I'm powerful. You know, I'm victorious. I'm the winner of my life, you know. So just stay away from the people that limit your movement. Mm -hmm. All right. But of course, in a good way. Um, not literally just have to stay away from people that you thought going to limit your movement. But, you know, if they don't believe in you, let them not believing in themselves. You know, keep believing in yourself. All right. If you want to, if you don't ha want to, no, but no one can force you. Group number three. All right. Let's see it here. You have friendship. People are saying about you behind your back lately that you have a lot going on in your life. You making new friends online or in physical life. Some people come and go in your life. So that's what they're saying about you um, lately. And I feel that with this group, people are saying that... You know, you are the friend that maybe move far away or you're not physically live close to your friends. So you require like an effort to just visit your friends, I guess, or your friends visiting you. So I feel there's this distance friendship connection that you have going on over here. Um, I also feel that people are saying lately that you want to visit your hometown so to hang out also with your friends. Turn away. You're turning away your back from all negativity. You, you're not going to looking back to something that's stopping you from reaching your destiny. I also feel that after you get recognized, after you get that recognition, you got that victory, you know, you turn away from the people that used to just being very negative or not supporting you um, in your cause. And, you know, that's what being saying about you lately uh, behind your back or that's just how people feel and talk probably behind your back lately. Um, that's very interesting. <laughs> um, 
decision. Some of you need to make a very important decisions related to your career. Some of you still deciding whether you should apply to a new job or stay in your current job. I can make um, a reading about how you being perceived at work, uh, maybe in the near future or sometimes in the near future. Um, but I feel that there is something important decision that you have to make. People are saying lately that you all about decision. You're a great decision maker. All right. They see how you maneuver. They see your strategic move. They see that you um, make decisions that absolutely um, benefit your position, benefit your situation right now. I also feel that you are between the crossroads. Um, you try to figure it, figure it out. Um, you try to consider a lot of different things right now and I feel some of it also about friendship I feel that friends that turns into love or whether you need to prioritize your friends or prioritize your needs so there's this decision that you're about to make and once you make that decision it's hard for you to just you know looking back or whatever and you just have to keep going you just have to keep going with that decision group number three that's what being said about you behind your back lately You have Jupiter, you're being, uh, you're being, you know, people just saying about you behind your back that you're all about grow and expansion. You grow tremendously um, or you grow um, so big lately about your character. You have big personality. You have a very generous heart. You know, Jupiter is all about being generous with the positive words, motivations, you know, being the inspiration for all the people uh, to be near you. You're also all about expansion. So I feel that your abundance expanded and there's this abundance being around you. You know, Jupiter is all about abundance it's all about luck it's all about being very lucky and blessed and you kind of know it um if you haven't feel it this way you know take this as a sign for you to start counting your blessings all right because like people are saying that your life full of blessings yes there's some decision that you need to make and it's up to you how you need to decide make sure you prioritize your needs and your soul's needs right and make sure that you're not stopping at anything you know um, and keep pursuing what you want to pursue in life, that the one that makes you happy. And people can kind of say that you are fulfilling your dreams or, you know, get your dreams come true, getting the job done, passing the exam or some sort of things about feeling victorious, feeling winning in life, all right? Or got some sort of happy news lately or about to have, will have happy news, happy connection, some sort of things that make you feel like you win, you know, like that kind of victorious moment recognized being recognized of something maybe that's related to your content online content your project your goals um a lot of different things right house two house two is about um material possession physical security some of you have jupiter um located in your house too that's possible um, probably some of you got Jupiter in Leo with the victorious Jupiter in Cancer, Jupiter in Taurus. That possible for some of you. It doesn't have to be that way. But how's to talking about how you know your self-worth. So people are saying behind your back lately that you just becoming more confident. Okay, and that confidence coming from you already um, already considered a lot of different things before you make decision. Okay, already consider a lot of different things. You have that physical security. You have that possession that other people want to have or just your life is getting better. Um, it's also about your material values, you know, and people kind of see that you are very valuable in their eyes, you know. And, you know, um, this is about you looking very good, stylish. Um, it's all about house too. People love how you look, how you dress. Um, your accessories, something like that, you know, and this is just what it is, you know, the card say this. Um, so that's interesting. What are people saying about you behind your back lately? Um, there is this mind, body, and spirit that united in your soul. Um, you're all about in alignment now with the 
the reason why you're here with the sole purpose that your soul deserve to have okay so in the near future i feel that you are being recognized for your own soul purpose that your destiny is in alignment with your soul purpose and you got that feeling of winning victorious or get the job done reaching the milestone finally claiming your power take your power back finally doing the things that you always said you're gonna do all right and you have that willpower strong will person and truly making it happen this time around so people are saying that you are getting ready to actually fulfill your um you know, uh, fulfill your desires or your soul purpose, have that union merging and coming together with the collective, coming together with universe and doing the things that you always want to do or the things that you always say to yourself, you will do it. Um, so yeah, that's, and probably some of it related to house too. So about job, career, business, um, side hustle, physical security, possession, material values, self-worth, self-development, personal development, your confidence, all right, your look, your image, but that's about your self-worth, more so about the value that you bring to the table. And from now on, you kind of know your value, that you're very valuable. Don't let other people tell you otherwise, you know, don't let the haters dim your light, you know, don't let negative feedback ruin your life you know let them be negative and ruin their own life being if they want to be toxic you know let them be the toxic and just get rid of that toxic from your life and let you enjoy turn that away around you know and let you enjoy your own victorious moment because you deserve it so people are saying behind your back lately that you're all about just want to grow your legacy grow your money grow your effort grow your business grow your side hustle grow your career grow your kids you know raising your kids something like that or just you know really want to start something new and becoming the healer of your own family so i feel that your healing energy is very strong it's very potent for this group and this is like just full of inspiration you know in the sense that people try to see what you're gonna do next about you making decisions here um and so yeah all eyes on you House 10, again, house 10 is about being structured, about discipline, life mission. Yes, so when house 10 coming in conjunction with the chariot, and also house two and jupiter so i feel there 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 will be an expansion in your life near soon related to house two and house ten house ten is about life mission accomplishment and career all right so there is this expansion about career or business or hobbies that turns into career or hobbies that turns into side hustle a profession an exam a school or something that you always want to do related to your hobbies and i feel that with the conjunction here there's this unity, um, there's this merging between your soul alignment, which is related to house 10 and house 2, with the feelings of winning, the victory. And it's all merged into your soul and truly shape your character. Um, so there is this growth that Jupiter will bring, I feel, into your um, life regardless of your Jupiter sign. But find out what is your Jupiter sign. I feel that some of you probably have Jupiter in your second house or jupiter in your 10th house but regardless whether you're located or but regardless of your jupiter located in your birth chart i feel that this group truly gonna have that moment of realization of their um merging together of their soul soul purpose with who you are as a person and with your self-worth in house two and accomplishment of house 10 the accomplishment can be different things because we all have our own different desires but i feel that people are saying behind your back lately that you're all about winning you're all about want to win want to get the back want to have that positive energy all right let's see your wild cards over here oh wild card just one card all right group number three what are people saying about you behind your back lately that this is your card you have ice queen so people feels that you are being very nurturing with the mother you try to separate yourself from people that um treating you not right with the divorcee and with the discernment i feel that you are very powerful you know your power is to use the power of discernment not everything deserves to be in your mind not everything deserves to be in your life so use the power of discernment properly to actually prioritize you your soul and your vibes all right so people are saying about you behind your back lately that 
you know, um, you try to be very selective with the people that you allow to be in your life, you know, with the energy that you allow to be in your life, you know. And I feel that people now start to realize that you're someone that truly was so valuable to the group. Yeah, you truly have a life mission related to you. Use your spirituality, um, use your intuition related to your career. Probably your intuition related to your career. You can guide people as, or as a guide for people. I also feel some of you are um, going to work with your friends or have a little project with your friends or creating friendship from the office. That's also possible. I also feel some of you going to grow some sort of connection here. Um, that's going to help you in the near future or in the future related to career. And that comes from your friends or from acquaintances you know, it's it's from the friendly group. I see it like that, all right? Or you will help your friends um, related to career uh, or material things and they're going to be so happy about it or they start to remember how you're being very helpful or you helped them in the past about career or money. Maybe you lend someone money and they think about you now okay um so yeah that's that's some of some of the things that people are saying about you behind your back lately but overall you are very cool calm and collected you're very elegant you know people are saying behind your back lately that you're very elegant um you're very um unstoppable with the chariot so people kind of sense your unstoppable energy and they recognized you uh, they recognized your success they kind of realized that you were here to have a very successful life um if you believe it if you claim it that's like the energy overall um with the tarot you know and yeah that's that's all for me now group number three thanks uh for watching please give me thumbs up please like this video if you want um to book me for your private reading or to give me a tip please click the link in the description box below thanks for watching and i'll see you on my next video thank you and bye bye